Hey everybody, welcome back to It's a Metal Thing. Today, we work on the dash for the 61 Falcon. Let's do it. All right, today I'm gonna work on cutting this dash out. Uh, several reasons. One, when I put the cage in, I don't want the bar to end up on this side and be you know, hanging out here for foot interference. Plus I wanna put, uh, planning on putting on a removable door bar that I don't wanna run all the time just when it needs to be ran. And I want the stub to be back there as well and not interfere with the in and out, I got long legs. Another reason, uh, AC going in this thing as well as the big computer and all the wires for the fuel injection and the whole Coyote motor. So it'll be easier to get up underneath there and work on AC placement and uh, put do electrical nice and tidy. Another reason, uh, AC vents. I'm gonna put AC vents in it. So I'll have to uh, figure those out, what I'm gonna use. I want something retro, that, but it's gonna be fit in the dash. Another thing too is I'm gonna put the uh, Mustang gauge cluster in it. It's got a pretty retro look. Uh, it's a 2016, so it's still kinda got that retro you know, look to it that I think will go in there. I'll get it sunk in there far enough, you know, it'll be super noticeable. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So here's the situation though. I wanna be able to put it in and out. Uh, so what I'm gonna do over here is uh, I'm going to take this metal here. I'll probably cut along this edge here. You can't really see, I'll put this up somewhere. So I'm gonna cut along this edge here and remake this top piece out of eighth inch. Uh, the reason being is I want to be able to put some countersunk screws in there. So I need at least an eighth inch to get the depth that I need for the countersunk screws. I'll probably put three in here. So I'm going to cut this off, grind it off, get it flat and smooth. See what this material is back here. I think it's thicker. I think I'll be able to tap it. If not, I'll put a, a piece of metal on the back or figure out some way to put some threads on there, either a nut zero, which I don't think is going to happen because it takes up space. But I'll probably I'll figure out a way to tap and thread that so that I can put this back in and out. When I cut it, I'm gonna cut it right in this, there's a, like a channel here, like a U. It comes off this pitch weld and then dives in about, I don't know, half inch, can't really tell, but, cause it's black. But I'm gonna cut, just run a cut along here that you won't see when the window rubber is in. Uh, I'm not gonna weld it back in. I'm gonna make it bolt in. I'll figure out if I need to do some structure underneath. I might put some, cause also too, uh, this shape, if I cut in the middle of this U, it's going to lend itself to being a little more sturdy. You know, it won't be so floppy. Hopefully, it won't spring or do some weird stuff once I pull it out. But I'll get it to where it'll go in and out. Uh, it's not going to be a situation where I'm going to do it all the time. But if I ever need to get back in there for any reason, uh, I want to be able to do that. So, yeah, that's it. So, I'm going to start down here on this end by cutting and grinding into this first layer of uh, dash. Put an eighth inch in there and I can weld that, grind it all smooth, you won't know. And I'll be able to countersink in there. And then I'll get into cutting that out. I want to do all this on this end before I cut it out. Because uh, I don't have to deal with it floppy and being weird. So I'm going to do that now. All right. Uh, didn't even mess with spot welds. Just took this uh, hard disk and just ground on that uh, metal until it was pretty much gone. It leaves a nice crisp edge. It's actually sticking a little proud, which will help me out. I want to put the eighth inch on. So I'm going to fit a piece of eighth inch in here. I'll get it tacked in real good. Maybe even weld it in so it won't move a whole lot. I don't know what will happen. Probably weld it up and then uh, drill some holes for uh, whatever the thread size for number 10 that will place the holes for me. Uh, when I pull it off, then I'll be able to drill and tap or tap the, the holes and widen the holes on the dash part and countersink those. So it should go exactly where it goes. So I'm going to make a piece and weld it on. Made a template with some tape. Transfer it onto some eighth inch material that I had here. Gonna cut it out on the plasma and uh, beat it around. All right, pieces made, bent, twisted, drilled, number 25 drill bit for a 1024 screw. Uh, fits good, got a nice fit in here. One-handed warrior, come on, come on. Yeah, so it fits good. I uh, ground the paint off to uh, I'm gonna get ready for paint, for welding. I'm gonna tack it on and then uh, drill those holes, place them where they need to go. And then I'm gonna go to the other side, 
What I'll probably do is this metal is too thin to tap into, so it won't be strong enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and get both sides tacked in, ready to go with the holes pre-drilled. So I'll know the location of the holes. I'll cut the dash out. I'll take little pieces of square on the back. You can't really weld this nut that small. So I'll just cut some little flat bar and get it on the back there and then uh, drill and tap those. Put it back on, cinch it down, and then finish welding uh, just to make sure everything's happy and where it belongs. So yeah, uh, tack this on and move to the next side. I was sitting over here earlier thinking about that front there and the gap between the door. I was thinking it might be an issue. But I looked over on this side when I was sitting over there and I could see there was like a quarter inch gap. It looked like a quarter inch gap between here and here. But it didn't look quite a quarter inch gap. It's pretty tight. It's There's a little bit of a gap there, but it's too tight. I'm going to fix it. So when it came around on this side, I uh, fit it better. It goes in a little bit more. Doesn't sit as if you look. At, I'll show you the other side. But these corners match up a little bit better. The other one is pr like up here proud. Plus two. What I did is I, I beat these in a little bit to get a little bit of an angle. I'm gonna tack this on now and see if it fixes the problem, and then I'll just go and fix that over there. So give it a shot. All right, got some clay. Put it in there. It's pretty good clearance up you know on this inside edge where i had done that but this back edge is super tight so probably what i end up doing is uh, when this is all welded up and the counter sinks are done i'll come back and i'll try to blend this off and get a better angle that won't get right into that i'm pretty sure over there is a lot tighter i haven't had a chance to move that yet i'm gonna do that next but i just wanted to see where i was at on this so i think this will work all right i'll just have to because uh, this edge is pretty it's pretty proud here. It sticks out pretty far, so uh, I can blend that off. So I'm gonna move over here now and work on that. This one's good. It's, uh, I mean, it's tight, but it's not like hitting. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I'll um, get those drilled and countersunk and I'll work on that, um, grinding that. Because originally, you know, it was sheet metal, so it kind of had a little bit of a concave to it. So I, I can work on that, I'll get the depth on the countersink as far as I can go and then I'll grind down to it um, and get it get some more clearance there but yeah I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut that dash out we've got a white paint pen <laughs> paint pen marked up the dash I'm gonna cut it with that uh, die grinder and the uh, Cut off wheel. I'm just gonna take my time and uh, just try to keep it nice and straight and thin. I don't want to get carried away, get too wavy. So I'm gonna do that next. I think there's some bracing up underneath here that, have, that has to be cut out. And then uh, the steering column mount, it goes up and actually tacks in. You can see this extra layer here. So I have to cut, cut across there. This is coming out anyway, because I gotta put those gauges in. So yeah, and then we'll figure out what else I gotta cut out. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, dash is out. Uh, it was a little tricky cutting that out. I was had to do it from the top. I was kneeling on the cowl up there and I had a stool and stuff anyway. It's all right. There's, it's, it could be cleaned up and smoothed up a little bit. There's some movement in the top of this uh, dash and I can uh, run a stringer, you know, put a prop in from, you know, from one side to the other to get that so when I get that in there, I can get up in there and move it around and get it close. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it'll be covered by the weather strip for the windshield. I better get a piece just to make sure. Uh, tap or drill these out. So now I'm going to put a piece of quarter inch on the back, piece of little plate there, uh, drill them and tap them. I'll be able to screw back in. So I'll come back and I'll just do a quick cleanup on here. I'll do a quick cleanup on the top and I'll just make sure that it all screws back in. Oh yeah, I got to, uh, drill these out and countersink them. Then I'll put that back up there and I'll uh, weld these in. And then take it out. And so now I have all this room to figure out AC and um, all the computer mounting, all that stuff. So yeah, get this dash so it can bolt back in and then move on to bigger, better things. That's next. All right, screwed in, works pretty good. 
I have to weld it up still. I'm gonna do that next. It bowed up quite a bit, I'm surprised. Um, I'm going to probably make a mount, take this off so I can put a screw down through here that you won't see. I'll make a, run some sort of mount from underneath the cow to this surface here that I can screw into. Uh, I don't want it moving around, obviously. Also too, I can run a stringer from, you know, the top down to, you know, from here to here, just to make it more solid so it won't move at all. I'll figure all that out. On this, uh, I, I countersunk these as far as I could, you know, where they just started, you know, it was running out of room on the back side of this. I won't be able to grind on these at all um, to get them where I want. So what I might do is pull a screw out, countersink some more into the mounting surface. There'll be plenty of thread there still uh, and get those in farther. I might look into maybe doing an Allen, a countersunk Allen. And that way I can actually grind on the head a little bit and uh, still be able to get them out. If I grind too much on these, obviously Phillips are gonna be hard to get out. I don't know, we'll see, I'll figure that out. But, uh, weld it up and grind it up, that's next. Okay, weld it up. I went and got some Allens. They're not that much smaller. I countersink a little bit more. I didn't get a whole lot of love there. But uh, so now I'm going to grind this surface here. While it's in here, I'll just get it as flat and nice and I'll do a blend and get it close to the screws. I'll do the same thing on the other side, then I'll take it out and uh, work this side. It'll be easier to do on the bench to get this contour and everything. So that's next. All right, something like that. Finished out, I think it'll work good. Hey man. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try to put this in here. I don't want it sticking out too proud. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll end up uh, kind of coming off of this arc here and then bringing a, something around. I'll, I don't want these coming out too far. I don't want it super noticeable, but the old dash literally came out down and around. So it's a little wider, I think, than the original one, but I think if I could come off of here with a piece of tube or a piece of rolled material that matches that radius and then bring maybe these tips, the points here out to here somehow, and then just kind of incorporate all that and get it to be in there. I think it'll look pretty good. I don't think it'll be too crazy as far as um, like super out of place. I have to find uh, some AC vents, uh, some round ones for here. Um, I don't want them sticking below, so I'm gonna try to find something that's round in here that's kind of retro, but I need one also too that matches a cylindrical shape. One here, I'm gonna fill in this ashtray, probably get rid of maybe this button to just try to keep it centered in here. Uh, I don't know, we'll see on that. Same thing over here, round one over here, but I gotta, I'm gotta. i gonna start sniffing around and try to find those. I wanna run, uh, I'm gonna run the push button start, but I wanna use these. So everything I wanna to try to run, the uh, figure out the climate control and everything uh, and be able to use these knobs because they'll match the door knobs and all the other stuff that comes on it. So it's gonna be kind of weird mix of retro and modern. Uh, like I said, I'll get rid of this ashtray. I'll probably just mount a USB, little USB port in there to plug my phone in, but anyway. So I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, yeah, next is fine vents and stuff. I need to get this thing down, uh, sit that motor in, engine in, so people get freaked out about that. I gotta see where everything is gonna land in here so I can kind of get an idea where my brakes and stuff are gonna go. The AC won't be an issue, it's gonna be mounted out here. But also too, I'm going to use the, that kit from Parts Farm, came with everything. Came with the pedals, the fuel tank, fuel tanks. It's two fuel tanks in there, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna use the fuel pump that came with it. So the sending unit will work, uh, the wiring will work, everything will work in there. So I'm gonna make an aluminum tank for the back here using that um, fuel pump. So that's something I can get started on too with that. So anyway, if you like this video, like the video, subscribe and check me out on Instagram and it's a metal thing and I'll catch you on the next one.